So you probably got a chip or a scratch in the paint of your Harley-Davidson motorcycle. You may have even bought a Harley-Davidson paint touch-up kit. You wanna know how that works. You've definitely come to the right place. Welcome back, Bike Alex Ryan Urlacher here with lawabidingbiker.com. Thanks for checking back in. Behind me is my 2014 Street Glide Special Amber Whiskey. I have a large rock chip in here. If you ride thousands of miles a year and uh, you're a hardcore rider and cross country and stuff like that, you know what? It's gonna happen. You're gonna get a scratch or a chip in your paint. Best thing to do is take a deep breath and uh, realize those things happen and there's nothing you can do about it. Um, I did buy an aftermarket touch-up kit. I wanted to do a video, a paint touch-up kit. It is Harley-Davidson part number and uh, see what we can do with this particular rock chip. These are about $38, this particular one. Just know that you're never gonna get it perfect. Nothing's as perfect as original paint, of course, out of the factory, but at least we can get rid of the black. It's really black, you know, behind the paint. We can get rid of some of that. We can touch it up a little bit, make it look just a little bit better. So with that said, why don't you move on in and we're gonna get in down and dirty and see if we can uh, touch this rock chip up a little bit. All right, guys, first thing I'm doing is just a little rubbing alcohol. And I just wanna make sure that this is nice and clean. It doesn't have any wax in it. So I'm just gonna, just the chip itself. And you know what? I'm a biker just like you guys doing this right in my very own shop or garage. I don't have any training on this. I've done it once about eight years ago and it wasn't that great. So you're seeing the real deal and uh, from a real life perspective of how well this is gonna work. All right guys, first is the actual amber whiskey of course. You're not gonna find any instructions. They're too small. They're not even instructions. It just tells some stuff. You'll never be able to read that writing, trust me. And then of course the clear coat, that goes on second. And it's got a bunch of mumbo jumbo on the back too that you couldn't read even if you wanted to. It's not instructions anyways. Uh, I talked to dealership, quite a few people about how to do this. Everybody's got their own method and technique. I'm gonna do the one that seems to make the most sense. You can always test on a piece of paper. I actually did test um, when I did this on just a little piece of sticky note paper, just kind of see how I could mix it and kind of bring the color out and things like that. So you can always test. But the first thing we're gonna do, I've shaken this. It's got the little rattler in it. I've shaken it off film here for a little over a minute just to make sure it's nice and mixed up. I've got a rag so I don't get too much. And if I need to wipe a little bit off my brush, I can. But kind of the main thing is you don't wanna just stroke back and forth and overlap your other paint because you know, you're gonna get brush marks and stuff. So what I'm gonna to try to do is just deal with the actual chip and the black part. And I'm not brushing a whole bunch. If you see, I'm kind of using it as filler more than anything. And don't overwork it. That's it, guys. And it's actually looking pretty good. Um, I just kind of filled it in. You saw I dabbed. Don't do brush strokes like you're painting a house. You'll get, you'll, you'll get it all over and it's gonna look like crap. You don't want the brush strokes. So, and you can try to be just absolutely perfect. And I may be taking a risk, but I'm just touching there a little bit. And I'm just gonna leave it at that point. You could really get over meticulous and really start making it look ugly. So um, again, it's not gonna be perfect, so don't go for perfection. And that color is looking pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna add a little clear coat. I'm gonna let this set up for a minute or two, just a little bit, and then we'll add a little clear coat. Hopefully you're enjoying the video. If you wanna make sure that content and these free videos keep coming your way, there is a way you can support us. Head over to lawabidingbiker.com slash Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N. The community is growing over there. We'd like to have you involved too. Um, there's no risk over there. You can sign up for a certain level um, and pay a certain amount per piece of content with a cap. Absolutely no risk. There are some benefits over there. Um, T-shirts and a private Facebook group and some premium content. All depends on what level you sign up as. But that is a way that you can assure the content keeps coming your way. Lawabitingbiker.com slash Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N. Of course, if you ever wanna just leave a flat donation, we do accept that too and appreciate it. Lawabitingbiker.com slash donate. Don't forget to check out that weekly podcast, guys. It's on fire. A ton of content we're putting out. Get involved over there. It's the Law Abiding Biker podcast. All right, let's get back into your video. All right, guys, now I've got my clear coat and it's only been about two minutes or so. I'm gonna make sure I don't have too much on there. Just get some on the end of the brush. 
And again, I don't want to do a lot of brushing strokes with this. This is how you kind of mix in and you can bring out more color a little bit more with this clear coat if you want to need to brighten this up or whatever, but there is no science to it, of course. And I'm again, just filling in a little bit and letting that work its way in. All right, and I've got a bit on there, so I'm gonna take my rag and wipe this brush off a little bit. And again, you can work this around and you'll see it'll get a little bit darker color and it'll bring the sparkle out in it. And again, it's not gonna be perfect. And you may have a little, you know, a little bit of a bulge um, just where you put the clear coat and filled everything in. Some guys will take a little light, light, you know, very low, low grit and just lightly sand that to bring it down a little bit. Um, you could certainly do that, I'm not going to. I'm basically trying to get rid of the, you know, that was a pretty large chip. I'm trying to get rid of the black primer behind it and just so it's not as noticeable. Of course, I'm always gonna, you know, be able to notice it, but, and I'm gonna work it out just a little bit. I'm not brushing, I'm kind of just letting it set up a little bit and pushing it around like so. And I didn't have to use very much, but you'll see, I know how well you can see it on film, the more I dab it and mess around with it, the more it kind of works in, but also it's starting to color match a little bit better. It's bringing out what I need. And again, you know what? I could really, really overwork that and get it to, you know, a color I don't want. So you can see the sparkle and stuff moves around in it. And with that said, I'm just trying to work the sparkle in a little bit more, get it all centered. There, I'm gonna let it rest now. All right, I just wanted to give you guys another angle. I waited for about three minutes and it set up the clear coat a little bit more so it's not kind of dripping down. And I took my brush and I completely cleaned it off. And all I'm doing now is just patting it a little bit and it's kind of a little more gummy it's not so runny and it's about 75, 80 degrees, probably 80 degrees in my shop today. So it's set up pretty quick and I'm just making some final little pats and bringing some of the sparkle out in it and a little bit of color. Again, no science to this, but it seems to be working fairly well. You know what? That's as good as it's going to get for me. I'm pretty pleased with that. So I'm going to quit working it and just let it dry. Again, it's just letting it set up to a consistency, the consistency that's good for you. When I first put it on, you saw it was a little wet and it was kind of draping down here. Well, after it set up about three minutes, I was able to get it and work it uh, with the brush, a clean brush, of course, and just pat it down so it wasn't as big a bulge and it's pretty flush now. All right, guys, there you go. I hope the video was very useful and it's something uh, you can use if you have to. All right, guys, don't forget about the weekly podcast. That's right, Law Abiding Biker Podcast and all our free videos on our YouTube channel, guys. All right, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out. If you're not subscribed to this YouTube channel, you are really missing out. We have a ton of videos in the works for you guys, so get subscribed. Also sign up for the free email club, lawabidingbiker.com slash email club. We will shoot you an email when we come out with new free videos. Also, do not forget to check out that weekly podcast. It's the Law Abiding Biker podcast. It's heard worldwide. All right, peace out.